Okay, folks, JR here, also known as John Richardson. That's my birth name. Going to show you a 251 RBK. That stands for 25 foot. It's got a rear bath and it's got an outside kitchen. It is a floor model that I personally have already sold to and they haven't been here 30 days yet. I don't know how many more we got, but I wanted to get out here and do a video so that you'd have the opportunity to come and look at it. Made by Coachman, called an Apex, lightweight. Oh, come on, John, what's lightweight mean? What it means is if you can pull 5,000 pounds, you, well, you really need to pull 6,000 because this trailer weighs five. We want to have a thousand pound of leeway between what the trailer weighs empty and what your truck is rated. So if your truck's rated for 6,000, I can sell you this. If it's only rated for 35, I can't sell it to you. Very, very lightweight laminated trailer. You'll notice we got fiberglass cap on the front with LED lighting here on the side. Beautiful electric jack propane tanks. Notice they're only five gallon. That's because we got inch and three quarter block foam. We don't need any bigger tank than that. Two of those will probably last you all summer long, believe it or not. We're going to fill the propane tanks. We're going to give you not one, but two brand spanking new batteries. We have what we call slam latch doors, storage underneath the bed. Now I want to talk about this because they all got a door here, not a big deal. But what is a big deal here is, this is a laminated floor. This is a six layer laminated floor with block foam and aluminum in it. Now what's the advantage of that? Your bed is right up above this floor. Now the reason for the slam latch door Notice we got a one inch thick compartment door with magnetic latch. The idea of that is we got a laminated floor so no cold can come up, but it can come through the door if you got a little thin door. It can't go through here because this is a one inch door. So cold can't come up from the ground up under your bed. It can't come through the compartment door up under your bed. Consequently, you wind up sleeping very good because your bed isn't getting cold drafts coming up. So we call this slam latch door for the simple fact we slam it. Okay? Electric awning. Frameless windows. They only come out about four inches. You don't have to worry about a big fat guy like me crawling in there. Okay? So this trailer weighs 5,000 pounds. Before we go inside I told you about an outside kitchen. Here it is. We got a Coleman. Everybody's familiar with a Coleman stove. We got one. Coleman stove will pull all the way out. Of course, this will go up higher if it's not sitting side by side with another trailer. Cook outside. You got the electric uh, refrigerator. And to my way of thinking, well, they got it sealed up at the moment, it looks like. Oh, there it is. That will hold a couple six packs of cold ones. And I'm not talking Pepsi. Okay, roller bearing drawer guides. Notice we got plywood here, not plastic. Got two of them. Got one drawer and a spice rack. Another cabinet up above it. You can't see in it. I got a surprise hidden in there. Can't let you know what it is. Aluminum wheels, tandem axle laminated sidewall. Now remember I told you this was all laminated. Let's go inside and I'll show you how, how that works out. So I told you about the laminated floor. This is your bed. So you don't want cold coming in underneath that thing. Consequently we got the one inch thick compartment doors. You don't have to worry about cold coming in here any more than you do through the walls because it's a laminated floor. Now what I also said was we had a laminated ceiling. Do not do this in any trailer other than one that has a laminated ceiling. Out of the 400 units I got there's one one other brand that has laminated ceiling. 
that's a lance. Laminated. You don't have to worry about cold escaping or heat coming in. Notice we got a AM, FM, CD player hooked into the TV. We've got inside outside speakers so you can listen to it in or out. Indirect lighting here. Cabinet up above to put the VCR tapes, DVDs, that type of thing. We got a couch that makes up into a bed. This being a 2019, notice how light and bright it is. I don't have any lights on. It's still plenty of windows, nice big windows that open up. A booth here that we, four of us could sit here and entertain ourselves. You know, it's a long way back to that fridge, which is right here. So you don't have to walk very far to get to it. Notice we got a three burner stove, we got an oven, we got three drawers right next to it. One of the big things that the ladies like about this model is we got counter space. You got a double sink here called an undermount sink. So if you're needing uh, space for cooking, that type of thing, or a countertop, and you don't need the sink, you can use this guy, pull out faucet, more cabinets here. This is the other slide out. So we got a slide out here, the fridge here, storage here, and last but not least, the old throne room. And in the throne room, we have shower facilities, toilet facilities, towel racks. Notice that we have ducted heat vents in the bathroom. See, we got one, two, three. That's because this is a laminated floor. They don't want to weaken it. But we're going to have some cabinetry. Look at this. Now, if you pack more, if you can pack enough to fill that guy up, in all honesty, you're either full-timing it or you're going to go through an awful lot of beach towels on a weekend. Because we got three doors here, we got the vent fan, we got air conditioning, ducking, heat ducking, your command posts are all located here. Laminated floor, laminated ceiling. It don't get better than this. Come see me, John Richardson. Phone number's right there. Thanks you guys for taking the time to watch the video. I appreciate it.